Well, welcome back to the second part of using the IBIS system to set up our bus. Only this time we're setting up an older bus. Uh, this bus has the uh, rollers on the outside to display the destination. In the meantime, uh, there's a number of things to do. Uh, I discussed before we need four things really to get us going as I get the temperature up in the bus uh, to get us going to pick up passengers uh, one would be uh, we need to schedule and uh, two uh, we need to uh, locate our bus uh, to the to the schedules first stop and then uh, which of course I've already got to the bus uh, at Fudge Street because that's uh, where we want to start this particular one and that's the schedule I'm going to choose and and then uh, of course the third thing would be uh, select our, our line so we're going to select 92 starting with Fudge Street and here's our schedule and of course the fourth thing would be to actually run through the schedule with our navigation system up and with the IBIS system uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, select line 92 zero, zero, no uh, special designation code just 92 to be in there um, at the older bus you couldn't display anything anyway we're doing route one uh, which uh, starts at uh, Fudge Street and ends at Staatsgrasse uh, as you notice the IBIS uh, Fudge Street uh, you, you can see on the map there and then we we'll go through the center of town uh, in the intersection and I'm going to take you right up to Rathaus Spando, which is the intersection. But if we were to continue on the whole route, take us another, take us a full hour, I think. And then it would actually end at uh, the Staatsgrasse. But in the old buses, you have this roller system. And you can actually go up there and mechanically uh, look up the uh, code for the rollers by looking at 92 and you know and then you can roll it to 47 on that code and it'll display uh, um, on the on the uh, outside the bus um, I have a lot of hard time with it in fact the thing jams up a lot it's part of the, it's part of the fun I guess that it does jam uh, you can use the F5 F8 key in the page up page down I think makes it work too but I just like to bring up the menu and then uh, select the second row, second icon, the one that says 92E. If you click on that, a dialog box comes up. My re uh, recording device is not showing it, but it's up right now. And what I do is I'll, I'll type in 92 in the first field, and I'll hit the second field, which is a drop down, and select Stotgaranza. And uh, it'll actually do, do the job for me and display it on the outside of the bus. So that second row, second icon, 92E, is what you're going to use to display on the outside of the bus your destination. So Hare Street, Stadsgrasse is the intersection, which would be your destination, our last stop. Like I said, on this time, the other in the other video, I didn't really run you through picking up passengers. But just for fun, I thought I'd run you through at least half this route. Uh, the first leg would be... Uh, here from Fudge Street all the way out to the um, Rot House where everything is the center of uh, where all of the, the Y comes together on our, on our map. And I'm a little bit early. I mean, it's really not time to pick up yet, but it looks like the passengers are ready. They're anxious to get on and get going, so maybe I'll creep on up there and uh, let them on. Fudge Street is uh, is an old crickety. It looks like it's it's like cement road, and uh, makes a lot of clacking noises as you drive down it. But uh, look at these guys. They are they're training me. They're giving me the old snub. They're training me to get closer to the curb, <laughs> so they don't have to walk too far. And uh, yeah, as they Hello. now they get on. 
I still uh, I'm learning the routes and I'm not I'm, I got the ticketing system where they just get on and off and I'm not really handing out tickets yet um, but uh, and, and the, for the demonstration of this video uh, I, I wanted to show you how to use the IBIS and the old buses now whenever you make a right hand turn you want to use that right side mirror um, to watch those curves and now I'm back looking at the left side mirror and then now I'm going to make this curve watch the back of your bus and make sure it doesn't clip the, the uh, sidewalk and that's what the secret is to driving buses and using those side mirrors you use those side mirrors like crazy uh, they, they really do help you uh, get the bus uh, and direct it uh, and not be bumping around all the time driving over things I, I really like the fall color, so I, I chose uh, October again, and I chose 1989, and, and I went ahead and I didn't take you through the whole menu system. By now, you should be familiar with that, but uh, I love these apartments over to the right. Uh, looks like an interesting place to live. Yeah, anyway, I love the, the menu system. I set it up for the, uh, to, to locate the bus at uh, Fudge Street and then, uh, you know, in, in 19, uh, 19, October, so it, going one of the days in 1989. Here's the first stop, uh, well, the second stop, actually, Morgan. when one passenger got on. And we're going to go ahead and, and uh, follow that orange arrow to our next stop. And We've made our turn into this this main drag. It's it's kind of still a narrow street here, but we're heading on down uh, that main street, which uh, got the name of it, but uh, it'll take us it'll take us down for a ways. Damn, Bowman. Yeah, I'm beginning to uh, really enjoy the the scenery. I'm you know, surprised to say, but uh, the buses are nice, and even though the the graphics are kind of dated, I'm really enjoying the the city scene here and the buildings. and And after a while, I forget that it's not uh, not up to date to the. 2017 you know but it's I don't know what was with this bus he's I think he's waiting on somebody to walk across the street interesting things happen I, I kind of like that about the game too Who don't, anything can happen so <laughs> that was pretty good so we got some passengers here ready to get picked up and you know with their, our navigation system. Um, hello? Hello. Hello. Yeah, our navigation system, which is that question mark on the uh, menu system, you bring up the, the yellow and orange arrows that highlight the atmosphere above and we can see where we're going. Uh, eventually, you know, Nobody's going to learn a route in one or two tries. It's you're going to drive this thing for a few times if you if you want. You, and I hope to get to the point where I drive this uh, after two or three more times, I'd be able to turn off the navigation system and in, and know where my my passengers are and what stops I'm supposed to make, uh, and then and then start using the ticketing system. But uh, you know that that would be the joy of it is not having to rely on. Me. You know, on the overhead navigation stuff, but uh, really no on the wrap. But uh, that means you know there's plenty of different routes to do, and you know you're gonna just choose one and do it for a few times if you want to get to the point where you're not uh, competent. I don't think anybody's here. 
Let's take a look at a map and see how far we got down here. I think we got the Ambogan. And this schedule can tell us what time we're supposed to be there. That's another thing. As you get used to the route, you can start thinking more about what you're really supposed to be doing. And uh, I really should be pressing the blue button on the IBIS system and advancing the uh, advancing the street, the uh, stops. You know that'd be, I think, a necessary thing in order for it to provide the right change to the ticketing system and then paying more attention to the schedule but uh, to be honest I'm just trying to learn the stops and the route and, uh, and, and the drive and enjoy the scenery at the moment and uh, you, you really ought to be putting your blinkers on whenever you turn into a stop and putting the left hand uh, blinker on when you turn out it's the proper practice to do So, um, I did, one of the things I did do is I, uh, I think this is a straight ahead and then I got another stop coming up. One of the things I did do is I put a few clouds in the sky. And I'll talk to you about that after this stop. Whoops. Hello. Morgan. Yeah, what you can do is you uh, bring up the menu system, you, you click on the, the weather icon, and instead of selecting snow or rain or ickiness or something like that, there's another tab that says custom weather, and I just say custom weather, and I just add a few clouds, cumulus cloud one, and I can slide that. Revving up the engine here. Yeah, and I just slide the uh, the slider bar and how, mu how many clouds I want up there. So I just added like a minimum amount so I have total clear skies. Ooh, I just made that light. There's not too many clouds, but a few. Yep, I got a few passengers at this stop. Morgan. With this boy, he's not getting on. What's with him? You come running out, and he's not getting on. I open it back. Nope, close it up. Oh, look in the, the side mirror. He's getting on the bus behind me. That's what that was about. Off we go. This, uh, surprisingly enough, this game is, is quite, uh, it keeps your attention. And, you know, I think I should have stopped at that railroad track. I don't know, in, in Germany, do they, the buses stop at railroad tracks? Yeah, somebody should let me know, but I, I think I should have stopped at that railroad track. There's a safety thing that uh, buses do. I should have kept an eye, see if that artificial intelligent bus would have stopped there. What is he doing? He's a my passenger. Hello. Nobody wants on your bus. Alright, get going now. <laughs> I bet he didn't stop at the railroad track. He just came up from behind me and blew through. And here we go. And 
and he's got kids on board. Well, the yellow light came on. Somebody wants to get off. It's kind of interesting. Scenery over to the left. And some homes over to the right. Yeah, I'll get a familiar with this route and maybe sometime try to do it in the snow. You know these lights, you really look have to look hard to see if they're red before you get up to them. They seem so tiny. So, we're somewhere along here now, I think we're past, up to a main intersection here. The ambulance going. Alright. Some more eager passengers coming on out. Wrong. Hello. Good park. Hello. Yes, I think once I uh, close those doors and I should probably press the blue button to advance it to the next, to the next uh, bus stop, and, and then hit the station brake, release the station brake, and then take off. So I got to start getting used to doing these things. It's not a lot to do. Um, I don't have a key on my controller for the blue button, but there is a, I think Q. You know, if you, if you want to set your stick or your wheel or your controller, you, I think it's, uh, the, it's the clutch uh, key, which I believe is Q, would uh, press that blue button for you, so. Um, I'm kind of running out of buttons on the controller, so I just have to go ahead and use the keyboard. Now, uh, yeah, i got to stop straight ahead. Looks like another main intersection here. We're getting down into the... into the busyness. Alright, here we go. And we're green. I really like the older buses, even though you gotta set up the destinations on the outside the bus separately. Um, I just like them. Hello. I'm on board. You know, that's another thing. It'd be nice if we could bring up the map. You know, it's, it's kind of fun to bring up the map in, you know, in this recorded video, but if we could actually have a map view, you know, kind of like your truck has, where we can, uh, you know, hit, hit the map key or something and bring the map up while we're, uh, so we can keep get a, get a feel for where we're at. There's nobody at that stop. There's a blow on by. Interesting color building. Hello? 
another crowd waiting to get picked up. Make up for the stop that we passed on by. Good morning. Good morning. I bet you those two ladies are upset with each other. Both picked out the same outfit. That's embarrassing. Alright, see if we can make this green light while it's still green. Yeah, it, it'll take you a few runs. At least it's, it's going to take me a few runs. To really learn the streets and the street names and where I'm going and where my stops are and, and the more I do it, uh, that's why I, I would suggest that you pick one route instead of every time you get in the game trying to do something different just to see something different. Just learn one route, then learn the next system along that route. Maybe drive a route without even picking up passengers, then then use the I just ticketing system to pick up passengers with and somebody wants to get off. But I enjoy the scenery on this particular route so I wouldn't mind doing this one a few more times. And then anywhere anytime along the route you can you can bring up your own uh, report and see how you're doing on the stops. But, uh, coming through a nice little stretch here. So I've had the game for only a couple weeks now, believe it or not, but well, let's see, about three weeks, not even, just about three weeks I've had, and I'm really starting to enjoy it. Take a look where we are. I think we're down towards the, where we're running out of map. We can go into the central map now, and uh, didn't quite show all the stops, but we're coming up on that circle up top. So there should be that circle up ahead. We may have one more stop before we get there. We go through the circle and then we head down to the center of the Y, the Rot House. And we'll probably conclude it there. Although uh, the, the route actually, the, the destination is all the way to the other tip of the Y, which would be uh, Air Street and Stock Drowsy. But uh, I don't know that I can talk for another half hour while I drove through all that. Yeah, we got some <clears throat> somebody wanting to get picked up. She needs her exercise. Hmm, looking ahead here, I think I'm at the circle. Yeah, let's pull that sunshade down. It's starting to get in my eyes. But the orange arrow is showing it going straight through. I think I got to stop on the other side and I have to do a U-turn and then go back through the circle and down. But I'm pretty confused. Uh, so I'm just going to go in this straight area here, which is also a right hand turn. Follow these arrows. Dr. Hoyer is ahead of me. Okay. I'm trying to figure out the plane to be in. I just went, I kind of bypassed the circle. I don't know. Huh. I don't think I did that right. Hey, but here's a stop. And they don't care. I got the right destination and probably here near the right time. 
Hello. I think I was supposed to go through that circle and pick up a couple, uh, a couple more stops. I really didn't know how to do that. Continue on and see how this see what happens here. That's the thing, when you're not familiar with the city or the streets and circles and things, it's it's kind of tough. I'm turning on my blinker and looks like this is a this is the bus this is the main bus stop here. I think this is it. This is this is the center. This is the rat house where the underground is. I guess that's what those poster is. This is where the underground is for the train. And we'll stop here. Yeah, see that Hello. little circle on the very top. And they actually show you what to do. The left-hand box is the one I should have went. I should have went through it and made a U-E and then back and crossed over again to go south. I was actually thinking of the surface from going north through it, and I should have. The left one is for the south. Anyway, I'm going to conclude here. And uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.